Hi Aries, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. You know me. I'm here to do your April 2020 reading. I want to say happy birthday. You know, um, not a, a great birthday year for you, but certainly one to remember. <laughs> We're all going to have our birthdays uh, during this time, so... But anyway, um, you are the harbingers of change, Aries, you know, the fourth month. I know you begin at the end of March, but it's about spring. Let's start fresh. Let's start fresh. Like it really is about that. But anyway, I want to get your vibe in here. Hmm. Aries, 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 April 2020. Hmm. What does Aries need to know? What are the messages Aries needs to know to help them on their path? What are the messages? I kind of feel like they need to go like that to shuffle them today. Yeah. I can feel it. That's the way it has. Yeah, see? It, um, I think it's about simplifying things. Don't make things harder than they have to be is one of the messages I'm kind of getting there with that. I'm going to do a Celtic cross here for you today. Um, in your present position... You got the magician in the position of the magician. Um, I'm <laughs> kind of goofy today, I guess. <laughs> oh, I had a lot of things I had to get done today before I could start doing the videos. So, all right, so let's get them dealt out here and then we'll go through them, okay, Aries? Mm -hmm. So, I'm using the Anna K tarot today. And uh, just about three or four days ago, it was calling to me. That was the one I really wanted to use. And it just happens like that. Like, you know, it, it's like, no, I want to use this one. I don't know why. But anyway. And so there's a few cards I haven't seen. I haven't used this deck that much. And they're really, I love the interpretations in them. But anyway, let's get on with it, Aries. So where you are now, in the present moment, you have the magician. And the magician is trying to conjure up something, trying to make something happen. Um, he, he has all the tools he needs. So you, Aries, for what you're trying to manifest, for what you want to move forward with, you have the tools you need. You're, you have experience. You have knowledge. You have passion for it, and um, you you believe in it, I guess, okay? The one thing I want to mention about the magician, the only thing the magician is lacking is the instinct, that gut knowing, you know, that's where the high priestess comes in. So the magician has everything else, though, all the qualities um, that you need, to go forward. This is your energy, okay? So you have it all. The challenge for you is um, here is either in accepting charity or being generous to yourself. This is this is about being generous or accepting, you know, someone's being generous with you. And trying, like, this is helping others out, eh? There's others that are less fortunate than you. And, um, and, and maybe this is what you're trying to do. This is what you're trying to conjure. You're trying to figure out, like, I really want to help other people. I want to, there's a lot I know. There's a lot I could do, you know. And, and you're trying to figure out how this is your challenge um, to, to, to get to do it. Because... It's hard for us to do outreach when we can't go out, you know. So this is um, this is the sort of thing. Um, and 
because there's a lot of people in need, like nobody's working. And, and there's some people that aren't working, some people that weren't before this all started. So we're all at different levels on the ladder when this kind of hit. And so those that were already low on the ladder are really, you know, really having a tough time. And, and but we're all worried about, you know, what we've what we've been working on all this time anyway I think you're trying to figure out a way of how you can be of use you know in this time of need um or or you could be the at the low part of the la ladder I imagine there's some areas at the high medium and low and and it's very difficult to accept help accept money um, but put a hand out and ask for it. There's a pride, you know, and um, it's very, it's a very humbling experience to come from either side of that, you know, the giving or the, or the receiving. So just know that, okay? And, and, and we're all going to be on both ends of that right now with uh, some things we'll be able to give and some things we need to get you know we need to receive so there's th there's two sides to that but you're trying to figure how can I do it how can I help how can I be of use and and but you know we're all just sitting here waiting waiting for information or instruction you know on what to do and um it, it's kind of baffling to me in one way but anyway that's another whole video <laughs> that's another whole video oh i want to tell you that uh one of my friends through youtube that i met here because all this has started, um, she's she's going great. She's decided to just let all the roots out. And because it's not essential to go to the drugstore and get dye or go to the hairdresser, and not that we could. So I am doing it too. I am just letting it all grow out right now. It's not about how we look, you know. It, and... Um, <laughs> So I'm just letting you know what's going on there. All right. So Aries. On your mind. King of Pentacles. Um, and the king is mature energy. The king is in some sort of, um, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's like the top of the family. He's learned all the lessons of all the Pentacles from the ace on so he's got a lot of uh experience you know and a lot of things to share and um so this is the thing i think that you want to contribute this i'm really getting a strong feeling you want to contribute you want to um You know, um, you're thinking about your stability. I think you're thinking about, I don't think you're worried about it really though. You, I think you're thinking that you're, you're stable. You're not really worried about it, you know. I'm fairly stable, but what about the others? You know, there's others that are, are worse off than me. And in the foundation, you know, there's the seven of rods. This is two sides battling. Could be family members, people within a household. Could be neighbors. Could be communities. Could be countries. You know, it's, it's totally one side. You know, the fence is open. And this guy's saying, well, you're not coming in here. And that guy's like, well, you're not coming in here either. And, um... Like really having to defend yourself, your what you've built, you know, what you, um, it's like competitive, it's, it's aggression, it's, um, standing your ground, 
you know, standing your ground. Anyway, this is the foundation. So this has happened. There's been a lot of aggression. There's There could have been an argument. You could have had a, uh, a situation where it was like a confrontation. And, um, or, uh, you've had to go up against something that you could disagree with and you're not, you're not backing down. You are not backing down. This is crossing, but this is, um, something about work. You know, it's something about what you've created, the, the, the what you've put hard work into. You've invested yourself. Okay. Um, But what I'm kind of seeing here is that, you know, uh, that with the king at the top and 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 this, you know, this um, aggression at the bottom is, I think that you you want to handle this maturely, wisely, um, you know, your this is kind of. Um, testosterone you know <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word but it's very strong and a lot of strong feelings are coming out in people but they might want you to lead they might want you because you're very sensible Aries you're very sensible you know what I mean um and you want to lead you know but anyway just passing out is the sun this is just leaving your life. And the sun is success. It's like you were really on a roll or are on a roll. It's the Midas touch. You're, you're, there's something going right for you. The sun, it, it warms everything it touches. You know what I mean? So there is a, a, a warmth in you. Like I said, I think you're trying to figure out how you can help other people how you can be of use, how your knowledge and experience and everything can help others. You want to, like the sun, it, it radiates, right? It, it expands. And this is what you want to do. You know, you want to you wanna help, help others. What you're, uh, uh, we're working on could have been really, um, I get a I get a feeling it, it it could have helped people be more self sufficient, self sufficient. But you had opposition. This is real opposition, and what you're trying to do, what you, what makes sense to you, something that makes sense. Okay. Now coming in is the two of swords look at this card and you know you know all i shouldn't say you know but there there's a lot of different decks out there and this one's very different from the other ones and i really like it um there's those two swords they're the truth they're you know um what you're thinking about however you don't want to see it it's obvious but you still don't want to see it you're confused you know it's like hearing from two different sides one saying oh you're you're wonderful and the other side saying are you sure you want to do that you don't really have a lot you know what i mean that it's there is something that is some sort of confusion for you oops sorry about that some sort of confusion for you but the thing is you don't want to see the truth and if you don't look at it now it's all it's still going to be there it's not going to go away and you're going to have to look at it at some point there's something that you don't want to see here that you may have to do a um you the, a, a path you may have to take about being honest with someone or yourself you know i th i think it's another person if you don't want to see this side of them or that you know, it could be what they're not saying. You know, I just got a feeling of that. You, you, you're thinking, well, they never said that, but, um, you know, 
like a good example is um, I used to go out with a guy and he would never give me credit for anything. And my girlfriend and I, um, you know, take, took the carpet off this floor and the underlay was like stuck to the other floor. So we spent two months scraping and get, removing this underlay to reveal this beautiful wooden floor. Anyway, she says, oh, wait till he sees this. Wait till he sees all the work we've been doing. I said, I hope you're not waiting for credit because you ain't going to get it from him. And and um, and when he did come and I said, well, you, you never said anything about all the work I did on the floor. And he goes, well, I'm never saying you did. I, ne I didn't say you did do, didn't do it. And I said, but you never said that I did either. So, you know what I mean? Uh, that's the point I'm trying to make is that maybe it's what they're not saying and and that you need to hear, that you need to know. You know, I'm getting kind of that feeling there. Sorry I tell long stories. <laughs> they're all long. <laughs> okay, so... You know what I'm getting a real strong feeling of is um, this opposition may have had a point, may may have had a point in their opposition that was true. There's some truth in it and you don't want to see that, you know, you don't want to see that so, and you may need to ha to look at it, right? Um, anyway, so... Um, your internal influences is sort of what you, um, how you're trying to deal with things is the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups, like, it's kind of cool. He's using this cup to fill his bowl, right? And he's sat sort of vulnerable, young that way. He does, he's doing, you know, twice the amount of work. Anyway, um... He is naive, he's young, he's, um, you could be, um, because the page is messages, like a message coming in, some sort of, um, fond, um, message communication, um, you could just be communicating or, um, you, you could realize that, you know, you want to soften your communication, your, your, um, you need to go a little at a time, you know, He's taking the cup to fill the bowl. The bowl could be the offering too, and he's keeping the cup, you know. But whatever the the there's some there's a, a vulnerability here, but it's about communicating um, softer. It's a softer realizing that there needs to be compassion and and it's softer communication um and also it's all new right it's a new way of doing of communicating you know it's a new way of communicating um because this isn't working you know and um, this could be the thing that you're realizing, you know, you may have to soften that. <laughs> it's funny that you get this card. This is your exterior. This is how other people see you as the emperor, as the boss, as the one that calls the shots, right? He has a lot on his shoulders. He's got to worry about the whole plan here and how it's playing out and what are the next moves going to be. And he has to think about not just about for himself, but 
for his family, his community, the world, you know. He he carries a lot on his shoulders here. And 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 like I said the the decision he's making ripple out. They affect, you know, more than one people, one situation and they will ripple and and keep having effects. See like these squares, right? Um He, you know, he's sitting there holding the apple and the sword. And the sword is facing down, you know. It's, it's, I think he's really wanting people to just listen to what he's saying, you know, obey his authority. It's a very authoritarian here. And they're seeing you. You could be in a position of authority. Um, you could be the father, the boss. I'm getting a boss feeling here um, because you, you're you making the, the decisions from a mature, like above everybody, more experience, more knowledge, all that uh, point of view. Like you think you have more experience than everybody else and you probably do you're the king of pentacles in this situation aries but uh you could be like sometimes the emperor even though he's taking everyone into consideration can become the tyrant can become the the one that's saying don't ask questions just do what i say and I have to say, in the situation we are in the world right now, it kind of feels like that. We're just being told, stay at home and just do what you're told until we tell you different. And it's very hard to just sit here and, you know, not know, uh, not be t t told anything. Just do as you're told kind of thing. And, and don't ask questions and all this sort of thing. And it's just... Um, it's a hard position to be in when you're used to being the boss, being in control, you know. So um, I think that you're viewed as someone in control, someone with authority, someone to, you know, to, you're, you're, it could be you have a lot of people depending on you too is you know part of the thing okay so the expectation is the seven of rods or no the five of rods sorry the five of rods so this is up against everybody facing this alone you only got the cat on your side and the cat is about instinct and observation right the cat like this is a smaller cat so this is indicating, you know, not full grown, doesn't have a lot of experience. I also get a negotiation feeling here. I know their arm wrestling and it's one guy and the other guy's got his whole family, the whole everybody at work or everyone seems to be on his side standing behind him. It doesn't mean he's going to win, but he's got a lot of support. And then here you are with your, your cat. Not looking too fierce. <laughs> but I don't think you're fighting with strength, with physical strength here. It's more about accomplishment and um, the way you go about it. So this cat is young. It doesn't, it, 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 it I think it's your negotiation. You know, and back here, it was talking about the softer, a softer approach, you know, which you're not used to. You're used to saying, do that because I said so, you know. <laughs> so this is like a softer approach, all right. Um, and, and then the final outcome is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups, to me, 
is um, see this vase is trying to fill one cup and hopefully that will overflow into all the cups you know in like in one of those champagne glass waterfall things and so by filling the top one it'll it'll therefore ripple and and fill all the rest you're trying to multitask you're trying to get do everything at once you know there's that emperor right a lot on his shoulders trying to do everything trying to think of everyone trying to da 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 you know and it's and it's i think it's causing tension in you but the the message of the seven is to pick a couple of things and do them really well and then go back and do the other things like Focus. You need to focus more because you're spreading yourself pretty thin here. You know what I mean? And I think that where the, some of the tension comes in, I think that you will be better at what you do and more appreciated probably even um, when you just... And, 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 you know, there's the thing about delegating, Right? You know, delegating, not trying to do it all yourself. Saying, hey, Joe, and asking, not telling, asking. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Hermes, don't get me wrong. I am not saying that you are doing that, you know. Maybe someone's doing that to you, you know, delegating or, or saying, hey, call them up. or But not saying, could you call Sarah for me or whatever, you know. Um, work more as a team than, because see here, he's trying to take on the whole family. I'll take you on, you know, I'm not here to fight. I'm not here to, 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 I'm trying, I think what you're trying to do is get support to win favor, um, with your idea, like what you're trying to get rolling here, you know? Um, because the truth is, we got to work as a team. <laughs> we do. It's not individual. Like, even though we're split up individually right now, we need to make more of a team. I don't like being separated from people. I, I feel like it's, you know, I don't know. I just feel like I don't know anything. <laughs> But anyway, it's hard not to talk about the situation when you're doing these readings because it's like it's there. It's the white elephant, right? And um, and it comes out. It comes out. Uh, I think I, what you're trying to do is a good deed, is what you're trying to do. It's the way you're going about it. And um. I think you might need some team members, some support. You might, you could be asking from for for some, um, but getting opposition and feeling like, oh, I'll just do it all myself, you know. But don't give up. Don't give up. Just it's the communication, and I like I said, I feel like it's something you're not saying or they're not saying. There's something unsaid here. That needs to be said. It's causing confusion. It's you know all the cards aren't on the table, or or it's not clear. It's not crystal clear, and you want it to be crystal clear. But um, soft, soft. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope this means something for you. Um. It, let me know in the comments. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you do like the video. It helps me a lot, and it's all free. And, um, yeah, keep me posted. I, I read all the comments, and I like to hear what you think about it or how it relates or even just checking in and saying, hey, um, I'm okay here in Canada. We're okay in my small, small town here. Um but, um, and I hope you are too. So be careful out there. Love you. Bye.